everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is back after its hiatus, and in the last episode, the team finally manages to leave the future um, using the monolith uh, to get back home. The only people that we can't 100% confirm made it back to the past were, I think, Yo-Yo, Mac, and May, because... When the monolith melted, um, we assumed that they were in the room, but it wasn't confirmed. So, the entire episode was pretty much the team fighting against Cassius, and then Cassius going crazy and using his own super soldier suicide serum on himself, and fighting everyone, but they managed to kill Cassius and save Yo-Yo, and then they go back to the past with the help of Quake. Um, I mean, not Quake. <laughs> not Quake. Um, Flint. So, Flint stayed and so did uh, Deke and um, I forgot his name. I feel bad I forgot his name. Enoch! Enoch. That sounds wrong. That's correct, though. I'm assuming that's correct. Anyway, both of them died, presumably, but if they're able to fix things in the past, it won't matter because presumably that's going to affect and fix the future, and therefore none of that will happen. So, I expect this episode to be at least most of the team in the past. Um, I would like to hope Yo-Yo and Mac and May as well, but since they weren't confirmed, they could break our hearts with them. Um, having it be that they were just slightly too late and they didn't make it back. But I'd like to see how um, Fitz and Simmons come about learning how to, I guess, harness the monolith and use it to the time travel, to make the time travel vortex. But I mean, Fitz has to design a whole new Zephyr, and so much has to fall into place according to what was shown in the future, so I hope we do get to see that, and then now that they're back in the past, I do also hope that we get to see Robin and just kind of how her life has continued um, with everything she's seen, and then from the moment that they left. It would be nice to see Hunter again, but I don't think they'll get Nick Blood back on the set for just like another random cameo for the episode, but it would be nice, because it was pretty cool seeing him again. But, um, yeah, not too many expectations for this episode, especially since there's only, like, three episodes left, so I don't think they're going to be going back into space. But now we know that Yo-Yo said that Coulson needs to die because he's really sick and he's infected, so... Hope we get to touch on that some more as well. And aside from that, that's pretty much it. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 11, All the Comforts of Home. Let's get started. I expect better from you, okay? This is that? Not I think that's the lady that, like, murdered her two so subordinates. Then I'd say, hey, Mom. Her daughter's kind of a cunt. Are you a good guy? But considering that, like, that lady just murdered some people? Understandable. Hmm. That feels like foreshadowing. Not in a good way. Oh shit, where's everyone else? Okay, cool. That's everyone. Awesome. It's hard to believe oh. back. Oh, oh, wait, wait, that's just Daisy. I was about to say, there's already a body! The world's last bastion against the it's Kronk! 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 That's Lemony Snicket! <laughs> I'm so excited now! Sorry to disappoint. So now that she's back in the past, does she still have her thingamajigger, or did that stay in the future? Stuff here we can use. Some Please have him keep talking. <laughs> I really like this. 
Oh, there's three of them now. What the shit? I'm a sentient chronicom from a planet which revolves around a star oh. constellation. Oh. Cygnus. Got it. This you guy's I am. Enoch. I did. Replacement. He's the one who will... Oh, what the shit? This is trippy. He already knows about them. And they already have all the mon monoliths. I mean, well, I guess there's one more now. What the fuck's the last monolith? Time, space, swirls. An Asgardian spotted in the city. An Asgardian spotted in the city? Did I? Oh, but they're not gonna show it though. Does this event mean something to you? Oh wait, yeah. this was a while ago. I think it does. Do they know that they look like complete and total shit? Because I don't think it's very casual for them to be walking around all bloodied up and in a group and all dressed in black. So. About that one, Mac. Fighting Daisy's mom. Or fighting Daisy's dad. Okay, there's been a lot of things that have gone on in the, in the show. We get it. Everyone, just stay calm. Damn, Fitz. Oh, he's already like, okay. He never really left the framework, you know? You guys have a great day. You too. This is Thank awkward. You. Is he gonna, like, drive up behind them and shoot them or what? What? Get the fuck out! Why? Is Enoch back too? Well, at least now he'll have more, um... More reference for when he goes back and he decides he wants to make his uh, virtual reality thing. Maybe he should drink some beer to see what it actually tastes like. Hey, I get it. Don't rummage through the garbage. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> Just get the man an ice cream of his own! Yes! 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 <laughs> oh wait, he doesn't have any money. It could be that his entire sequence is just like, because he's stuck in this loop too, and that's why he already kind of had an idea of what everything looked like. Go beer. Got it. <laughs> I'd like to try beer. A real one, please. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't like it. <laughs> That'd be like... Mm. <laughs> oh. God, that does not... <laughs> taste like it looks. Do you have anything else? Do you it? have juice? It's delicious. What does it say? Citrus beverage? Is that not alcohol? Did he give him soda? What is that? <laughs> How's he gonna pay for all of this? So he's gonna end up in jail and like no one's gonna have any record of him, right? And then somehow the lady is gonna find him and want to kill him or something? Aww. I'm glad that he's back to being all confident and positive again. Depressed Mac makes me depressed. <laughs> that was Enoch, don't blame this shit on me. <laughs> Even amongst themselves are like, Enoch is the one. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Oh! Hey guys. Well, didn't think I'd see her again. He didn't mention a social worker was supervising him. Well, didn't okay. she, like, Sonara. literally just get Sonara. done saying. It's Portuguese, Sonara. <laughs> Not Smith. That uh, he anyone that interest. has a badge He's would know their cool. faces? You. You've got your work cut out for you with this one. This She's guy looks very like suspicious. It. We haven't been able to see Daisy's. The the 
space under her ear yet, so we don't know if she's quick. And I mean, if the lady's daughter has a poster of her, wouldn't like everyone know what Daisy looks so what like? That was a dumb idea. Couldn't she at least have used one of those ID masks? Oh, he means the drink. <laughs> what the shit, Piper? What the shit is this? That body figure looks like Sonara, though. It doesn't look like the blonde lady. It's way too skinny and thin. Sonara can't be here, though. That's impossible. Well, I don't know. She's Cree. That's Sonara, right? Somehow that's Sonara, and that's why specifically she looked at Yo-Yo, because they're going to kill her and keep reviving her, and... Yeah. And that's- the, they're carrying on the joke about Mr. and Mrs. Boba Fett, right? It's capture, not kill. That's definitely Sonara! Who the fuck fights with a thingy? Oh. My. God. <laughs> that's not okay. That is not okay. Oh no! I thought Kasaias had cut off her arms as like Hold on, we're gonna get you a method for her not to run away, but she's. We're right here. Oh no! That's Sonora, but I don't know how. I'm so sorry. Oh my god! Even if she survives, she's still not gonna have arms. Is she gonna come back for any more episodes? Of She's gonna be back, right? That has to be Sonara! No, it's Ruby. Oh, okay. I think, I guess. No, there's no explanation. Okay, so another secret evil organization. Doesn't really look like Hydra, but whoa. What? What? Okay, what? Oh no, not another one's about to die. No! <laughs> All of these immortal artificial beings are dying! Dude! I figured I'd see you again soon. What? I told you I find you want shield shot. Well, I don't really know what's going on right now. Like, is this Marvel's version of Suicide Squad or something? But, whatever. Anyway, this recording went way over than what I was expecting, so I actually gotta go to work right now, and I'll give my reaction when I come back. So, see you then. Okay guys, so I'm back from work, and I've been thinking about this episode for hours. I was really shocked about so many things in this episode that I don't really know what they're gonna do with the rest of the season. There's two more episodes left and thus far it seems like the prophecy is coming true because they're still stuck in the time loop. Yo-Yo's arms just got cut off and Mac looks like he's kind of out for a vengeance. Um, that was really surprising for me that I thought Cassius had like cut off Yo-Yo's arms hoping that it would like mm, inability her so that he could just continue killing her and resurrecting her for her blood but turns out it's just some random little assassin girl that I thought for some reason, somehow, I didn't know how, I didn't know why, had to be Sonara. I'm still thinking that the girl's outfit somehow inspired Sonara, because who the fuck dresses like that, and who the fuck carries around a, I don't know, boomerang blade? Circle blade thing. Anyway, so 
for some reason I thought it was Sonara and that the Kree were already on Earth or something, but I wasn't expecting Enoch not to be there. Um, instead we got whatever his name was. He's dead now too. They're all just dead now. It's quite unfortunate. But anyway, um, yeah, two more episodes until this season ends. I'm wondering if this entire series is gonna end because how we have it right now, if they're still stuck in the time loop, the Kree are still gonna come down to Earth, everyone's pretty much gonna die. With Deke being stuck in the past, that pretty much leaves it so that the future still has some type of hold on them if Deke still exists. And Coulson is dying, and now random military lady is building a team of villains or something. Or she's breeding her daughter into a villain. Might not be her daughter. I don't know, but it's weird. So they're probably going to be the cause of the Earth splitting apart. I don't know exactly why they thought that using the Kree beacon thing to get all the remaining shield agents in one place was a good idea because even if it worked um that is still a Cree beacon so uh they're still calling them so it looks like Cassius is gonna be the one to pick up the phone and head on over to earth um one thing that hasn't been confirmed since they've returned though is that uh, Daisy may or may not have the inhabilitator thing in her uh, ear. They might have brought it back from the future, or it could be that now that they're in the past, she just doesn't have it. So, it really could be either, but I still don't think that she led to the destruction of the Earth. And I also don't really know what Deke is going to do from this point on. Um, but hey, at least he got to try real burgers and hug trees and nearly eat trash ice cream. So, yeah, um, pretty excited to see how this next two episodes, uh, turn out. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. I feel like they're going to have to bring Gravitonium back into this, but at the same time, they could break, like, the chain or something and then they won't be stuck in the time loop, but instead, like, everyone's gonna die. Uh, I feel like also seeing Daisy in, like, complete formal dress is kind of, like, foreshadowing that Coulson is going to die and that Daisy is going to be the new, um, director. So, I think that'd be pretty cool. But if this is the end, I really hope that they don't make Creel a bad guy again because you know he was a bad guy to begin with and they had this whole arc where he's a good guy after the rehabilitation thing and then I mean he was Talbot's bodyguard and he seemed like a pretty cool dude now not that that really turned out well for Talbot but hey I just don't want to see him be stuck there again so maybe he's just going along with the lady and playing along with her up until he betrays them or something but here's to hoping so let me know what you guys thought of this episode and get out there and do all the stuff i'll see you next time bye You want some?